Meteorologist Sarah Gannon joins us in the studio with your weather authority forecast. Clearly a gorgeous, beautiful day. A little breezy though. You could kind of see that mm -hmm. with the hair blowing and all that. Yeah, a little breezy today, but there were so many folks out and about today. It was so great to see mm -hmm. folks out enjoying the sunshine, enjoying those great conditions. Unfortunately, we are going to cool down just a little bit as we head into the upcoming work weekend. We will see a couple of rain chances, but overall we should still be uh, pretty decent here for the upcoming week. Enjoying that sunshine today are some of our viewers and their furry friends as well. Marion capturing this great photo out in Plainview. Thanks for sending that one our way. And uh, as we kind of look back at that sunset this evening, we got to see plenty of sunshine here today. And uh, overall, we did see a few upper level upper level clouds kind of move in uh, during the late afternoon, and especially once that sun was starting to set here this evening. That was a look back from our Lewis Donato camera right here at KTTC. And of some of our viewers also capturing that sunset this evening. Barb in Rochester capturing this great photo right over Silver Lake. Thanks, Barb, for sending that our way. And another one coming in from Winona. Lisa sending in this great photo of that sunset this evening. So thank you so much, folks, for sending in those wonderful photos. You can send in your own weather-related photo to weather at KTTC.com. Make sure to include your name and where the photo was taken. Temperature-wise today, it was perfect out there. Folks reaching these 30, excuse me, the 50s and lower 60s. Rushford and Winona both at 63 today. Rochester at 54, Austin at 59, Mason City at 65, and Charles City at 64 degrees. So overall, perfect conditions out there today. And as we look back, as I mentioned, today's high was 54 degrees in Rochester. This is our first 50 degree day of 2020. And so be it the warmest day so far of the year. And now normally our first 50 is hit by about March 10th. So being today, March 8th. We're right on par here when we should be seeing our first 50 degree temperature, but the last time we saw 50 degrees or warmer was back on October 26th of last year where we reached a high of 52 degrees. So unfortunately, we might have to say goodbye to the 50s here, at least for the upcoming work week, but we are going to be seeing some showers kind of moving in here for late tonight and we'll continue to see some off and on rain chances into the upcoming work week. So make sure to have the umbrellas handy. Maybe send the kids off to uh, the school bus and school tomorrow in maybe some rain boots considering all that mud that we're going to be seeing here the next couple of days. And as we look ahead, continue to look ahead, we're going to stay very mild here with still uh, some above normal temperatures. Overall, things are quiet here this evening as we take a live look at your Lewis Donato camera in downtown Rochester, checking out the plumber building. Winds are still breezy out of the south around 13 miles per hour. But as we check out what's in store here with our satellite and radar, things are quiet here in the area and for now. We are seeing cloud cover beginning to build here and off towards our west is a low pressure system. Now that's going to kind of pull through the, through our area here as we head into tonight and especially tomorrow, bringing a chance for some light rain to the area. And with that is the associated cold front that will bring in some slightly cooler conditions here for much of the week ahead, especially for tomorrow. So it won't feel as warm as what we saw yesterday and today, but we still will be above average. So checking out that future cast clouds continuing to build here for the overnight hours. Overall, we will see that chance for some rain to move in by about the morning commute. Now future cast is kind of maybe hinting at uh, some wintry mix, maybe even a few snowflakes, but I'm thinking we're going to stay above that freezing mark, looking at more rain activity throughout the day. Bulk of this precipitation out here by about the dinner time hour. Then as we head into Tuesday, temperatures will be uh, cooler still into the 30s and we will see quiet conditions throughout the day. But by the evening time, maybe seeing another chance for some mixing primarily for the overnight hour. So as we look ahead here in terms of precipitation this week, uh, main chance for some precipitation is going to be tomorrow. So of course, have that umbrella handy as you head off to work. We might see a couple other uh, smaller chances to see that here throughout the week. But tonight, temperatures back into the mid 30s. Tomorrow, temperatures in the upper 30s, some lower 40s so will be cooler than today, but we will see that rain chance throughout the day. As we check out that extended forecast, staying above average here for the week ahead, mainly sticking into the 40s, but uh, still above normal, but cooler. Uh, than what we saw here for this weekend. So a little bit of some mm -hmm. give and take. Have that umbrella handy here throughout the week. Otherwise, doing pretty okay. Yeah, not too bad. Thank you, Sarah. Bye.